This outfit for the Trapper contains one of the funniest mistakes in the entirety of Dead by Daylight. On English, it's called the Bold Tail Gator, which is nothing out of the ordinary. But the magic happens when you put this game in Spanish, because the outfit is now called the Butt Smelling Driver. I have no idea who was in charge of the Spanish translation. Out of all the characters in the game, Dwight is the character with the most jobs out of them all, as he worked as a pizza store attendant, a pizza delivery boy, as a part-time elf in a mall, a character in a theatrical play, a gas station attendant, a summer counselor for the Hooked on You Island, and a summer camp counselor. The Ray's Angel of Music outfit includes a weapon with the living, beating heart of the nurse. This means that technically, the Wraith is the only killer in the game that can bring another killer into the same match, and one of the only characters that has an outfit that is directly connected with another killer canonically, not counting Spirit with Oni and Blight with each Blighted outfit. According to an old promotional image of Dead by Daylight, Meg was going to keep the Alpha Meg's tattoos in her default appearance. To this day, not a single cosmetic of hers has tattoos. In most of Hillbilly's cosmetics where his blisters are shown, they are all the exact same in size and placement, with only one exception in the entire game. His rancher torso, for some reason, increases the size on his shoulder blister to be almost double the size. This is possibly a visual mistake. Claudette's surname, Morel, is a type of fungus in real life, which is a cool connection to her passion for botany. In one of the nurse cosmetics, the hazardous material outfit contains one iconic quote which reads, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. This is a very cool historical reference to Oppenheimer, one of the scientists that helped create the nuclear bombs that will later be used as a war weapon, and this quote is the same phrase he said in an interview which shows how devastated he was after understanding the consequences of creating a nuclear weapon. And says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jake Park is left-handed, according to his figurine charm, where it shows he's using a spoon with his left hand, and also his surfer outfit due to the surfboard leash being on his left leg. According to the screenshots of the Haddonfield rework, originally, Behavior made a mistake with the address of the Myers house, as they put 1520 which belongs to a fan house replica that was built in North Carolina, whereas the correct postal code should be 45, as it's seen in the final map. This mistake was also present in the Funko Pops of the Myers house. Nia System Smasher cosmetic is the oldest Rift outfit to not appear in the store yet, as it has been more than a year since its release and cosmetics that are newer than this one have already been made available in the store. It is currently unknown the reason why Behavior did not release this outfit yet. Despite her name and visual design indicating otherwise, the hag is not an old granny as most of the community call her, as she was kidnapped while she was still a teenager according to her backstory as it mentions her respecting the elders and it's also further proven in the archives. Before the patch 4.7.0, it was possible for killers to not have a single obsession in the match if nobody in the game brought obsession perks or add-ons. This was fixed in that patch as some killers took advantage of this by tunneling survivors as it confirmed nobody was using decisive strike. The Pestilence Physician outfit for the Doctor contains one historical error in the name of one of the pieces. The weapon for this outfit is called the Conductive Caduceus, which references the Caduceus of Hermes, something that a lot of people might associate with a medicine symbol. However, the real medicine symbol is called the Rod of Asepsius, and it is in fact correctly used as a weapon for the Doctor, as the Caduceus of Hermes features two snakes and a set of wings in the tip, so it is incorrectly named Akadosius when it should be a conductive rod of Asepsius instead. One of the cosmetics of Ace Visconti might be a reference to the character Joe Barbaro from Mafia 2, only with a gambling touch. If you change the outfit of the Huntress to Baba Yaga while she is in an animation with the hatchet out, 
the hatchet will be stuck on her hands which causes this visual glitch making it look like she's holding both axes with the same hand. Valve, the license holders for the Left 4 Dead game and the build character in Dead by Daylight do not allow behavior to sell any cosmetics of Bill for money. This is the reason why his Christmas sweater was given away for free, why his Rift cosmetic was on the free Rift track of the past and why this same cosmetic is only viable with charts in the cosmetic store. According to one of the concept arts for Leatherface, one of his banners was planned to be located in the basement before they went ahead with the final Leatherface holding a chainsaw over his head. Despite what a lot of the community thinks, Feng Min is not the character with the most cosmetics in the game, nor the character that received the most cosmetics in the game, as that privilege is reserved to Dwight and Meg. In fact, if we purely talk about a character receiving a lot of cosmetics, the record goes to Vittorio Toscano, as he is the survivor with the most amount of cosmetics on day one of his release and already has more than Hadi Kaur, but he will also receive a Christmas sweater and is already confirmed to receive two Rift cosmetics, beating Jonah Vasquez, who was released one year ago in less than two months. Behavior said in the past that no killer is going to talk during a trial, which saddened a lot of people as this made it so Freddy Krueger was completely mute while playing as him in order to fit the developer's vision. Nowadays, with killers like The Plague, The Trickster, The Cenobite and Wesker, it is basically all but confirmed that if Freddy were to be released today, he would have had voice lines as well. Despite David King being the first LGBTQ original character in Dead by Daylight, he is not the first. That privilege goes to the Chatterer, who is also technically the only character in the entire game that is a minor, as it is confirmed in the films when the Chatterer dies and returns to his child form. This fact makes the Chatterer be one of the most disturbing characters in the entire game when you consider the fact that you are playing as a child. The pig was the first character to have two distinct basic attack animations. The first one is after she attacks normally, which shows her cleaning her blade after the attack. The second animation is with an ambush attack, and it shows her retracting the blade inside the mechanism. Three years ago, the actor of Quentin Smith, Kylie Gallner, said that he would like to have his face likeness into Quentin and Matthew Cote, the game director, was completely in favor of doing so. As we know now, this never happened, and the tweet of Kyle Gallner is now deleted, with only Makote's answer still left as a remnant that this indeed happened. The clown was the first killer in Dead by Daylight with jiggle physics, and also the first killer with facial expressions in the game. With some cosmetics, you can actually see the clown's belly jiggle in-game, you can make an entire law enforcement match by playing Detective Tap, Sybil, Leon and Jill with Wesker as the killer. Maybe one day we will have a full team of nurses, we only need two survivors more. For some odd reason, one of the cosmetics from the spirit, called Haru Damashi, got an undocumented change in one of its pieces. For some reason, since the Resident Evil update, this cosmetic lost its red streaks hair color that made it very unique compared to the rest of cosmetics. You can still see the red color in the icon for the cosmetic, so it's unknown if this is a bug. Kate Denson was originally going to be the survivor that was included in the Leatherface DLC. I will talk about this more in depth in the future, so if you're enjoying this video and you feel I deserve it, I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on this future video. It's completely free and it helps a lot. Thank you. Adam's recolor pants all feature a strange red belt that is very out of place and is practically impossible to see with most of his cosmetics. It is only visible in the icon for the pants or with a very limited amount of torsos like the Preppy Paradise cosmetic or partially in the educational material outfit from the Rift. Why this belt is there, I don't know. Despite the Legion receiving prestige outfits for Frank and Julie, there is only one set of Frosty Eyes cosmetic and that is for Frank. Why they never gave Julie a set of Frosty Eyes is unknown since they did give them each anniversary crowns for both anniversaries, resulting in them having four anniversary masks. 
According to his lore, the scar that Jeff Johansen got in his left eye was from a fight during a concert. For this reason, the fact that he still has his card in his Ormond video store attire confirms that these are not canon incarnations of the characters wearing the clothing, but is the entity giving them the clothing instead. Inside the Temple of Purgation, there are a lot of details that a lot of people might not have known. First of all, inside, there is an ancient tablet with writings on it. If anyone knows what the text means, please let me know. Under the temple and hidden in the back, there is a circle of salt, and nobody knows what was this used for. Finally, something a lot of people might not know is that if you look up in the temple, you can see a lot of passageways very high up in the temple. As an extra fun fact, if you can get there with exploits or hacks, you can actually walk on the top. Jane Romero was the first female survivor to have a different body type in the game. As previously to her, all female survivors had basically the same body type. Also, did you know she's based on Oprah Winfrey? Ghostface is the only licensed killer in Dead by Daylight that features uncommon recolors of his default cosmetic, as well as a basic recolor as an exclusive cosmetic for his DLC. He was also the first licensed character to get a blighted cosmetic for Halloween. But funnily enough, even with this, the pig got a rift before Ghostface did, something that I think not many people ever expected. Ash Williams was the first character to get voice lines in a modern language in the entire game, with more characters to follow like Trickster, Cenobite, and the Resident Evil cast. However, Behavior only added subtitles to the game with the inclusion of the artist, a character that did not speak. Demogorgon was the first character in Dead by Daylight to also appear in Fortnite. As of the release of this video, Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield and Ash Williams are the only other characters that are also in this game. Despite the fact that the license for Stranger Things has ended and the perks for all characters are general, if you prestige the characters to level 7, 8 and 9, you will receive their respective charms for their perks. Is Stranger Things coming back? For some very odd reason, Behavior decided to add a detail to the Armor Titan Ultra Rare cosmetic that the real Armor Titan from Attack on Titan doesn't have, a belly button. Can anyone that watched that anime tell me if there's an actual reason for this, or is this just an artistic choice? Yui Kimura and the Oni are the only characters that can be seen wearing a different outfit in their lore images to their default cosmetics, as we can see Yui with the versatile Sweet Rider cosmetic and Oni with the Ice Cold Legacy. The only other character that is wearing a different outfit in his lore is Vittorio Toscano with a medieval clothing, which might be his future Rift cosmetic. Zarina was the first character in the game to bring an electronic device with her to the trials, being the recorder she has on her hips. Later on, Jonah and Hadi joined her in also bringing electronic devices. It would be really cool if the recorder were to be an actual item in the game, so you can use it for distractions to the killers. There are 5 killers that laugh at the survivors. The Doctor, <laughs> Dead Singer, <laughs> The Trickster, <laughs> Albert Wesker, and technically Billy the Puppet from the Jigsaw Boxes. Cherry Mason is to date the only survivor with a legendary skin that completely changes her gender, with the James Sunderland legendary skin. The reason why Cheryl was the survivor that was introduced with Pyramid Head, despite them never meeting in the original Silent Hill, is because the devs wanted to represent every game from the trilogy, with the map. Representing Silent Hill 1, The Killer representing Silent Hill 2, and Cheryl representing Silent Hill 3. This fact talks about a future cosmetic, so if you're not interested, please skip this fact now. The new shirt from the Cats and Dogs collection reveals that Felix had a koi pond in his house. The Blight was the first character in Dead by Daylight that referenced an historical event that happened in real life, these being the Opium Wars. Before him, Killers only vaguely referenced real-life events or were based on them but modified to fit Dead by Daylight. Elodie was the first survivor in the game that was previously mentioned in the archives before being released as a playable character, with the archives entry in Tome 1 referring to the detective 
that comes from a world where the Black Veil exists. Hadi is the second survivor to be mentioned before in an archives before being playable. The game-breaking bug that sometimes happens with the twins will only be fixed by the time this video is one month old, confirming how much the developers love and appreciate the four twins mains that still play them and enjoy them. As far as I am aware, the lore art of Yunjin is not canon to the backstory of her in the game, as Trickster never recorded a song in a bloody booth while Yunjin was suffering. Instead, Trickster killed producers in front of her while they were all tied. In the Christmas Trickster toy charm, it says that this figurine is part 666 of the collection. Interesting choice of a number. The Nemesis has an unused Fedora add-on that references the other bioweapon called Mr. X. Why this add-on was scrapped from the game is unknown, but it's still an interesting fact. In the Resident Evil universe, Leon, Chris, Ada and Rebecca have never seen or fought against Nemesis. In fact, only Jill and Carlos know about him. With that same logic, Albert Wesker has never fought Leon directly, but Leon knows about Wesker. Knowing this fact, Jill, Chris and Shiva are the only survivors in the entire game that actually killed the killers they are playing against in Dead by Daylight, with Nemesis and Wesker respectively, and don't come crying to me about spoilers because the games are older than most of the people watching this video. Clive Barker, the creator of the Hellraiser novel, did not like the name Pinhead, as this was a fan-given name to his character. He was originally called Lead Cenobite or the Heal Priest, yet in Dead by Daylight, he is constantly referred to as Pinhead both in the backstory and in the add-ons. According to a previous limited time archives for Halloween, Michaela Raid told a story about a killer with an ominous bell located in a junkyard. For this reason, it is possible that Michaela is the only survivor in the game that recognizes a killer that does not belong to her DLC at all. The meaning of the word pentimento, which is used as a hex for the artist, is the re-emergence of earlier images or strokes that were painted over, something that fits for a perk that re-emerged a totem after someone broke it. In the identification card that Jonah has in his trap holder, he's shown wearing a brown cosmetic that does not look like anything similar to the cosmetics he has in the game, since his recolors do not feature one with no glasses. Hadi's ghost detector has a really detailed texture in the game files. You can read the screen and the model, but it's pure gibberish and it curiously says Geiger counter. Also, the warning sticker is very detailed, and you can see the placeholder text that an artist put on it as well. According to a behavior worker, the skeleton mask cosmetic was going to be the default look of the dredge, and it is also supported by the fact that the arms in his cosmetic are the exact same arms that appear on the default dredge when performing Amori or when grabbing survivors. Why this was changed is unclear. When you take a look at the knight's ultra rare cosmetic, you can see that the swords that are stabbed inside his body do not align with the blades that come out in the back, but if you take a look in the game files, you can see that the model is perfectly fine and the swords are perfectly aligned. So what is the issue? Turns out, it's the animation of the knight what is causing the swords to bend and thus, it looks like the swords are not aligned. The knife that Hunk, the legendary skin for the Legion uses, is the same one that Wesker uses in his star's outfit, except clean of blood. Behavior made Yoichi Asakawa a marine scientist so he had a closer connection to the ocean, since that's where Sadako was possibly living. And for those of you that don't know, this is represented in Sadako's breathing sounds. If you want to hear it, then don't miss out on the video that you have on screen right now. 